The greed of pharmaceutical companies is the root of much evil in the world. They put profits over people, and will do anything to increase their bottom line. They care nothing for the people who suffer because of their greed, and will do anything to keep their prices high. These are the top 5 most evil pharmaceutical companies. 5. Roche. In recent years, the pharmaceutical company Roche has been embroiled in several controversies. The most notable of these was their involvement in the pricing of the life-saving drug, Daraprim. In 2015, Roche came under fire for raising the price of Daraprim by 5,000%. The drug is used to treat toxoplasmosis, a potentially deadly parasitic infection. The price hike made Daraprim unaffordable for many patients, and caused outrage among the medical community. Roche has also been criticized for their marketing practices. In 2016, the company was fined $1.2 billion for illegal marketing of the cancer drug Avastin. Roche was found to have promoted Avastin for uses that were not approved by the FDA. These controversies have led many to believe that Roche is an evil pharmaceutical company. While the company has made some unethical decisions, they are also responsible for developing many life-saving drugs. Roche is one of the leading innovators in the pharmaceutical industry, and their drugs have helped millions of people. Roche is not an evil company, but they have made some unethical decisions. The company needs to be more transparent about their pricing and marketing practices. Only then will they be able to regain the trust of the medical community and the public. 4. Novartis The Novartis pharmaceutical company is one of the largest and most powerful in the world. They are also one of the most evil. They have been responsible for numerous human rights abuses, environmental crimes, and unethical business practices. Novartis has been accused of bribing officials in several countries in order to get their drugs approved. They have also been caught price gouging, which is when a company drastically raises the price of a drug that is in high demand. This has caused immense suffering for patients who rely on these drugs to live. Novartis has also been linked to forced labor in China. They have been using Chinese prisoners to manufacture their drugs. These prisoners are often tortured and forced to work in inhumane conditions. Novartis has been fined multiple times for environmental crimes. They have been caught dumping toxic waste into rivers and lakes. This has caused immense damage to the local ecosystem. Novartis is a company that puts profits before people. They are ruthless in their pursuit of money, and they will stop at nothing to get it. They are one of the most evil pharmaceutical companies in the world, and they need to be stopped. 3. Merck in recent years, the pharmaceutical company Merck has been embroiled in a number of controversies. The most notable of these is the company's involvement in the Vioxx scandal, in which it was revealed that the company knew that its popular painkiller drug Vioxx could cause heart attacks and strokes, but failed to warn patients or doctors of the risks. This led to the death of hundreds of people, and Merck was eventually forced to pay billions of dollars in damages. This isn't the only time that Merck has been accused of putting profits ahead of people's health. The company has also been criticized for its marketing of the cancer drug mechanism, which it sells at a very high price in developed countries, while refusing to sell it at a lower price in developing countries where it is desperately needed. This has led to accusations that Merck is prioritizing profits over lives. It's clear that there is a lot of evil lurking within the pharmaceutical company Merck. Time and time again, the company has shown that it is willing to put profits ahead of the safety of its patients. This is an unforgivable sin, and it's time for the company to be held accountable for its actions. 2. Pfizer In recent years, the pharmaceutical company Pfizer has come under fire for a number of unethical practices. From price gouging on life-saving drugs to bribing doctors to prescribe their products, Pfizer has shown a blatant disregard for the welfare of patients and the public at large. One of the most egregious examples of Pfizer's unethical behavior is their price gouging of life-saving drugs. In 2016, Pfizer raised the price of its EpiPen by 400%, overnight. This price hike caused immense hardship for patients and their families, as the EpiPen is a life-saving device for those with severe allergies. Pfizer has also been caught bribing doctors to prescribe their products. In one instance, Pfizer was caught paying doctors to prescribe the heartburn medication Nexium to patients who did not need it. This kind of behavior not only puts patients at risk, but it also erodes public trust in the healthcare system. Pfizer's unethical practices have caused immense harm to patients and the public. Their price gouging of life-saving drugs has caused financial hardship for patients and their families, and their bribery of doctors has put patients at risk. It is time for Pfizer to be held accountable for their actions and to change their ways. 1. Johnson & Johnson Johnson & Johnson is one of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies. It is also one of the most evil. 
Johnson & Johnson has been involved in numerous scandals, including illegally marketing drugs for children, bribing doctors, and covering up the dangers of its products. The company has also been accused of price gouging, putting profits ahead of patients' health. Johnson & Johnson's unethical behavior has consequences. The company's actions have contributed to the rising cost of healthcare and the opioid epidemic. Johnson & Johnson's greed has cost lives and caused suffering. It is time for the company to be held accountable. We hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.